So hi and welcome to Milgat Farms, Virginia's only organic maple syrup farm. And today we're going in the woods to look for some leeks. It's not quite time yet to do the tapping, so we can spend some more time in the woods identifying leeks in hopes that we can get as much water down from the mountain as possible so we can make our delicious organic maple syrup. Come along, let's see how this day goes. In order to go search for leaks, guys, we've got to turn the valves on. So what I did earlier, uh, maybe last week, was shut off certain valves, turn on certain valves, so I could test the system from the barn. But now we're up in the woods and we're gonna try to look for leaks. No, we're gonna look for leaks. That's the right thing to say. Hopefully we'll find some. But in order to do that, I gotta turn the valves back on. So here's our maple lines right here. These are our maple lines. These are one inch food grade lines. They go from the bottom of the mountain, our barn's way over there, to the top of the mountain. And you can't see it, it's about three quarters to a mile up. Okay, now we gotta turn this on. Listen real carefully. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> well, that means there's maybe another stoppage or a blockage somewhere between here and the top. And if that's the case, we're not gonna get any vacuum. So we're gonna walk over, walk over here and pull a tap and see what we got. Nope, not at all. I, I'm an idiot for many reasons, uh, this one included. I forgot to turn the valve on in the barn. So, came back to the barn, turned the valve on. We're pulling about 17 inches up on the south line. So now it's time to go into the woods and see what we can see or hear what we can hear. Hey, I forgot to say thank you guys for watching our videos. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. Consider it a thumbs up, it's always helpful. Subscribe, come back and watch some of our videos. We've got a whole maple season ahead of us. Uh, we should be making syrup inside of a couple of weeks. How cool would that be? It's going to be a lot of fun. We'd love to share that with you, and we plan to do a live during that time. So subscribe, hit that bell, and be notified when we have our next video that comes out. Now, don't tell my wife this, guys, but I got something really cool. Do you know what this is? listening device that's right you put the headphones on point it in the direction and you can hear things how cool is that it's called a parabolic microphone or this is a parabolic dish there's a microphone on the inside um, it's even got a little telescope in there or like a monocular I don't know I'm not sure why we have a monocular Maybe you want to look at a bird and, and take, you know, look at it and listen to it. I don't know. We're going to use this for finding leaks on our lines. It might work, it might not. Today we're going to find out. It's not going to help me listen better to my wife. I'll tell you that right now. Not going to happen. I probably can hear her louder, but my wife's from New Jersey. I don't need to hear her louder. Let's go see how this thing's going to work out. Stupid dog. All right, stupid dog's on the mountain with us. We're gonna be taking this thing up and we're gonna be pointing in the direction that we think we have leaks. 
The very first thing we're going to check is the main line. We're walking from the bottom, which is that way, to the top, which is way up there. And once we get to the top, we're going to come back down and check some laterals and see if we can hear some more leaks. I'm hoping we find a couple more bear bites. Currently, I think, I'm not sure where we're sitting at. I think we're probably sitting around 20, 20 inches. Um, we need to be around 24. We're not where we need to be, guys. So we got the vacuum on down below. Now we're going to start walking. If any of you wives out there want one of these for your husband, I'll put a link in the description and you can check it out. They're pretty inexpensive. And I gotta say, at least around the house, it works pretty good. I don't know what it's gonna do up here. But we'll find out in a little bit. Normally with everything I'm wearing, I can get away with not wearing gloves, but that is not happening today. All right, got all my tools. It's time to head up. Actually, we're gonna walk down to where we have the valve and then we're going to walk up and start from the bottom to the top. That way we cover every inch of this main line. That's loud. Stupid dog. Hi, stupid dog. What are you doing? You are Dingleberry. <clears throat> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I took a tap off right here. We're just gonna do a quick test to see what this thing sounds like. So you need to pull the trigger and hold the record button on this thing. What'd you think? Isn't that pretty cool? Probably gonna walk up that side Actually, no, I'm going to walk the main line all the way up. The problem we're having is we're about four inches short. We should be around 24. Pretty sure we're about 19 to 20 inches right now. So four inches sounds like a bear bite to me. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on how I'm using it. So I come to a complete stop when I'm walking through the woods. Hold on to the cable because if it's as you're moving this, if it rubs on something, that's going to give you a false reading. And then I'm going to take, just hold the trigger. I'm going to follow the line all the way down. And as I've got my trigger held down, and my line would be right here in front of me, I go above it and I go below it. So what it'll do is if there's a leak in there, it'll go, you'll hear a, a real quick I don't hear any leaks, but if I did, that's what I would hear. If I went all the way down it, I might hear the leak kind of come in and fade out. And that's one way to catch it, of course. But what I've been, the last couple of leaks I found it because I, I went down it like this and I thought I heard something. So I took the dish and I just went up and down the line. And what that's doing is just taking this cone above it, on it, and below it. And that's how I was able to find the leak. So I don't have any leaks right here. I got to keep walking. I'm about halfway up and I've not found any leaks in the main line yet. I'm guessing I'm going to find some up there. We already found a bunch and fixed them. So that's why we have more vacuum than we did when we first started off. But right now I haven't found any more. Way down there is the bottom. And way up there is the top. I'm probably quarter to half mile from the top and that right there stupid dog let's keep hiking i'm about three quarters of the way up and i started walking on this road right here so i came from that direction i went in that direction and i was sweeping this whole area here with my listening device. And this is what I came up with. 
see it? Now we've got to get this fixed and go find some more. This is a 3 16 inch line, so we don't use duct tape. We use a flat hook connector, which you see right here. I'm going to cut it out. Take it with me. Somehow. Here we go. What that's gonna do, guys, is obviously fix the leak, but now we're gonna gain some, I can't say we're gonna gain an inch, but we're gonna gain something of an inch in additional vacuum. And the more vacuum we're able to obtain, number one, the more water is gonna go down to the barn, and number two, the easier it's gonna be to hear another leak. I'm listening. I don't hear anything, but I'm going to put my ears back on and see what I see. Or hear what I hear. Let's keep walking up to the top. Look really close. You can't hear it, but with that listening device, you can. There's a bite on both sides, actually. We're going to tape this one up and then keep on moving. One of the tough things that happens up here on the mountain for me is that I, I get hot really quick, especially walking up from the bottom. So it's a constant battle of stay warm, stay dry. And you take your clothes off a couple minutes later, put your clothes back on. Take your clothes off, put them back on. And that repeats itself quite a bit coming up and down the mountain. I've been in this area twice in the last week and I could hear it with the first two leaks but this leak I couldn't hear. So I'm really glad I had this thing. This uh, parabolic microphone works really well. I'm listening, I don't hear any more leaks. I gotta get this one fixed and then I'm gonna move on. Breaker, breaker, looking for a hot mama. She hates it when I do that. Did you take a look at the vacuum? Sitting here, it's 24.3 and 22.3. All right, 24.3, did I say that? 24.3 and 22.3. That's better than when I started, but it's not where I need to be. So um, I'm at the tippy tippy top and I am looking at the steepest side coming down. So it's going to be a few minutes before I get there. <sighs> Guys, what a beautiful day here on the mountain. It is really quiet. That stupid dog. <laughs> Come here, stupid dog. What a hoot. <laughs> so far, the parabolic listening device or parabolic microphone has given me the ability to hear and find two leaks, which is better than what we started. Um, every leak is, every leak I find, every leak I find is that much closer to a tighter system. We may not get this thing perfectly tight, but we're gonna get it as tight as we can before we have to start tapping. And while we're going out tapping, I'll, one of the things that I'll do is I'll hold the line with my hand as I walk by them and I will walk from the bottom of the main line up to the top of the, of the lateral with my hand on it the entire time. So if there are other leaks, that's another way for me to find them. When I was putting on the laterals, that's what I was doing as I walked up each lateral. And I did one lateral at a time versus my normal way of kind of walking the contour. And I found a bunch, I really did. A lot of squirrel bites, a lot of bear bites. 
Um, but we didn't get them all, obviously, right? Because we're still up here. So I'm heading down. And that's going to be it for today's adventure of looking for leaks, as far as I can tell. I might go up the uh, north line. We'll just wait and see. Thank you guys for watching our videos. We really appreciate it. Consider subscribing to our channel. Hit that bell if you want to catch another video because we put videos out every few days. We'd love to have you visit the channel more often. If you ever want to come out to the farm and stay in our B&B, it's BillGapFarms.com. We'd love to have you out. Come out to the middle of nowhere, convenient to nothing, and enjoy a beautiful place. It is absolutely gorgeous here, any time of the year. Consider giving us that thumbs up. And until next time, God bless you guys. Where are you, stupid dog? Here's a quick look-see of what we're going down. Right now, that's about level. There's the main line, about 150 meters over, and we're heading down.